hi friends in this tutorial i will teach you how you can fix inaccessible boot device error in windows 10 with error code 0x 5x07b and you will see a screen like this right now it is showing in my computer before proceeding i request you to please click on the subscribe button to continue watching more such tech and how to video now let's go ahead and proceed with the resolution the very first thing that you need to perform is to turn off your computer with the power button and then again turn it on do it for 2 to 3 times until you is until you see a screen like diagnose your pc i'll show you over here i'm go ahead and turning off my pc with the power button so just be patient and in 2 to 3 times you will get a screen showing diagnosing your pc like you see over here that i got a screen diagnosing your pc after power off and power on my pc for continuously 3 times so just be patient and let this screen works now click on the advanced options now click on the troubleshoot button and click on command prompt now here command prompt is open now here we are going to fix your error so here the very first thing that we are going to do or the very first step is we are going to rebuild your boot order so for that you need to type here bootrec dot exe space slash rebuild bcd and hit the enter button it will take few time few seconds to complete the process and if you get any error simply ignore that error because that doesn't matter and i'll provide these commands i use over here in the description below so that you can easily copy from there now we'll go ahead and enter the third command which is bootrec dot exe space slash fix mbr and hit the enter button third step is or third command is bootrec dot exe space slash fix boot and hit the enter button these three commands you need to perform after that you need to type a command check disk space slash r space the drive letter of your operating system at my end my operating system is c drive so i'll type c and then semicolon after that hit the enter button it will take some time that's why i'm not going to hit the enter button and once this process is completed at your end kindly restart your com computer by entering the exit button like this and then turn off your computer and restart it and check whether the problem is resolved or not if the problem is not resolved we are going to proceed with second step you need to perform the same thing in the troubleshoot option click on command prompt and in command prompt you need to type here bism space slash online space slash clean up image space slash restore health after that hit the enter button this one is the second process as again this process is also time consuming so in order to save the time i'll go ahead and proceed to the third step in third step you need to repair the bad sectors in your drive which are causing your computer not to restart properly or not to start properly so in third step you need to type here a command check disk space slash f is for find and space slash r is for repair it will automatically find and repair whatever the bad sectors in your computer have and then it will rectify the error in your windows after that hit the enter button and simply restart your computer right now it is showing that my disk is right protected that's why it is not going to proceed but once i restart my pc 
it will restart automatically and it will start the process of checking the system file error this one is the third step that you need to perform after that hit the enter button i mean hit the type the exit and hit the enter button and restart your pc to check whether the problem is resolved or not if not we are going to proceed to the step number 4 in step number 4 again click on the troubleshoot button in step number 4 we are simply going to repair your pc which is a complete repair of your computer so for that click on system restore choose the operating system which is windows 10 that you have installed in your computer once you click on the windows 10 it will show you some restore point i do not have any restore point that's why it is showing that there is no restore point available but at your end if you have created any restore point it is shown over here which help you to restore your computer to a previous version that helps you to repair your pc this one is the fourth step that you need to perform and lastly the fifth step is to again in troubleshoot click on uninstall updates sometimes the recently updated pc shows in accessible boot device error it is because the last update was not installed properly so that's why you need to uninstall the latest update in your com computer here in out of these two options click on uninstall latest feature update to repair your computer and choose your operating system which is windows 10 this one is the fifth step that you need to perform in order to fix thus this particular issue that's it you have to do friends in order to repair your computer by performing one of these five steps your computer must must be resolved and your pc is starting normally if not kindly comment below and i'll provide you another way to help you get rid of this problem so that's it about it friends if you like my tutorial if you like my video i request you to please click on the subscribe button to continue watching more such tech and how to videos thank you friends thank you for watching